Hello everyone, Lost One Triple X here with another mod spotlight for Thermal Expansion 3, this time covering energy cells and energy conduits. As you can see, the mod adds five energy cells to the game, the first one being the creative energy cell, which is essentially just an infinite power source. You then have the four varying tiers of energy cells, the leadstone, which holds 400,000 redstone flux, the hardened, which holds 2 million, the redstone, which holds 10 million, and the resonant, which holds 50 million which is an obscene amount of power, I might say. It also adds the three different tiers of conduit, starting with leadstone, hardened, and redstone. Now, if we hold shift over these in my inventory, the leadstone uh, will transfer 80 RF per tick, the hardened will transfer 400, and the redstone will transfer 10,000 RF per tick. Now, back to the energy cells. We'll place a full energy cell down here. As you can see, it has uh, blue on the corners here. Now, if we go in the configurations tab, the blue means that that is an import phase, so the energy cell can accept power through any phases that are blue. You can change that one to blue as well, so this one will now accept power through any side. You could set it to orange, which means that it will export power. So if we were to place an empty cell down here, set to blue on top obviously because we wanted to import power, then we pop a cell across the top. This will automatically start filling up nicely as this is set to output from the top there. You can also set it to yellow, which means that it will have no interaction on that face. So you see it's disconnected the conduit itself. If we put that back to output like so, you can also use a crescent hammer or invar battle wrench to manually change the um, connection settings of these conduits. If for whatever reason you can't adjust the face on a machine or a block, you can just play with the conduit itself to change whether it interacts or not. Nice and easy. As you can see, this energy cell is charging up nicely and it has a certain amount of power stored. Now, if we were to pick this up with a pickaxe, it would lose all of its power. But if you shift right click with a crescent hammer or invar battle wrench, you will pick the cell up containing the power that it had before. So this has a charge of 95,000 RF, which is fantastic. And you can go and place it down wherever. Obviously, I'm in creative, so it didn't use up the uh, cell out of my inventory. Now, one of the main pluses of the new import export facing of these cells is that you no longer need to daisy chain multiple cells with um, conduits. You can simply place them down right next to each other and then just go inside to set imports and exports. So you can heavily compact your power storage inside your bases. And that pretty much covers energy cells and energy conduits. Uh, feel free to ask questions below and I shall do my best to answer them for you. Uh, check out the video's description for a link to the mods page and check out the rest of the playlist for more items and blocks from Thermal Expansion 3. Likes, shares and subscribers are always welcome. Have fun and take it easy.